He did everything right and still nearly lost his car. Now an Omaha man wants answers after he says a bank's mistake sent a repo man to his driveway. KMTV Action 3 News senior reporter Jake Wazikowski joins us with details on a story you'll see only on 3. Jake? Jenny, quickly, this is how it works. When the Omaha impound lot is ready to release a vehicle, they notify the owner or lien holder. They have 30 days to pick it up or it could go to auction. Then the city goes through the full paperwork process to sell the vehicles to citizens legally. Well, an out-of-town bank came after a car they no longer had a right to. Paul Steinbach is an electrician. He's worked on various projects, including the Monument to Labor sculpture. Two months ago, he bought a 2014 Mitsubishi GTE from the City of Omaha impound auction and now legally owns the title. He takes it and his tools everywhere for work. When I go from one place to the next, I carry them with me, and without them, I can't do much of anything else. So the tools of the trade, if you will. But last Saturday, his vehicle was gone with his tools inside. I don't owe any money on it, so I figured right away it was stolen. Steinbach checked his surveillance cameras and found that a tow truck took it away. You can see someone hook the vehicle up and pull it right out of his driveway. He quickly did his own investigating and learned that Repossessors Inc. in Papillion took it because the previous lien holder, Santander Consumer USA, said they still owned it. Officials say Steinbach legally had the right to the car and he got it back on Monday. He says the bank and repossession company apologized for the mistake. They came on my property, they trespassed, they stole a vehicle, and nobody's willing to do anything about it. They get away with it. As long as they have a piece of paper, it's okay if big businesses make a mistake. Yet I lost labor time and personal time. Steinbach wants to know why the bank isn't held accountable for their actions that could be considered criminal. He doesn't want anyone else to have their livelihood taken away over a bank's mistake. Had I not been so diligent in pursuing that, that where that car would end up, and my best guess is probably on the back of a transport truck headed to an auction somewhere in Denver or something like that. Repossessors Inc. wouldn't discuss the situation with me this afternoon. I did call the bank who thought they still own the car. And they didn't get back to me. Officials with the impound lot don't understand why the bank would go after the car months after being notified they needed to come get it. Reporting live, Jake Wazikowski, KMTV Action 3 News. Unbelievable story and well told, Jake. Thanks.